Hey everyone, welcome to Life Thoughts Camera Channel. In this video, I will be reviewing the Fortune Inn Valley Hotel, which is located in Manipal, India. This is one of the oldest and most popular hotel destinations in Manipal. Stay tuned to know why. The Fortune Inn Valley View is a four star business hotel, which is located in Manipal, also known as a student town in Karnataka, India. It is called Student Town because of Manipal University. The hotel has various room styles, four to be exact, ranging from the basic, which is a standard room. The hotel is located in the heart of the town, a stone's throw away from the university and the sports center. Perfect for people who visit for university business. We actually met a lot of people around the hotel who were parents or former Manipal students visiting with family. We reached the hotel around evening time. We traveled by Zoom car from Bengaluru city. The helpful staff ushered us into our standard non-smoking room within minutes of arrival. We made our way into the lift which gets activated by the smart card. I cannot lie, I did raise my eyebrows and nodded my head. Then we walk past the corridor which quickly tells you now that this hotel is old. They look degenerated. It can be due to age or due to poor maintenance over a period of time. We entered our room and encountered our first pump. It was not the room we had booked for. So after a quick phone call, we were escorted to rooms on the opposite side. On first glance, I can say that the room was not luxurious for a 4 star premium hotel. But it was more than adequate. It was neat, clean with all the 4 star requirements. They included electronic safe, cable TV, AC, free Wi-Fi, minibar, newspaper, etc. The laminated TV channel guide which rested below the TV remote did not match the channels at all. As for the snacks, I was not a big fan of the choices that were provided, apart from the water. Personally, I feel that the bathroom was a downside in our entire stay. It was a small area. The water from the shower kind of floods up most of the washroom space. The mirrors had spots and the side mirror was almost falling off when being touched. The bed was very comfortable and on the far end of the AC vent, so no cold air was hitting our face during sleep. While I was lying on a comfy bed, I decided to take advantage of the free Wi-Fi. My husband explains to me that only one device can be connected to each password and per room. We were provided with two each. Later on the next day, we found out that the password holds good only for the current day, making it a bit of a hassle. But it did work. For breakfast, once we did try out the buffet, even though it was not included in our package. The breakfast spread looked decent with a variety of dishes from North and South India. A live cooking station was at the end of the room, which was the next station. We sampled almost all the food. I was not that content with the flavors. So guys, tell me what do you check out when you're booking a hotel? Location? Rating? Pricing? What is it? Leave a comment. In short, the stay was comfortable. The food quality and variety were average, and as I mentioned, Bathrooms are small and have poor maintenance. The corridors and lobbies are worn out and unpleasant to see. Plus points are that the staff are helpful and it has a really good gym. I actually have visited some ITC hotels. It does not look like it meets the standards of ITC hotel group. Also upon inquiring, I found out that very limited options are available among 4 star hotels in Manipal and there are no 5 star hotels. So taking everything into consideration like food, service, decor, cleanliness, ambience, etc. I rate this hotel 3 out of 5. And that's it guys, do check out my website where I have posted even more about Manipal. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Just click on the subscribe button. Also, if you're interested in lifestyle, do head over for exclusive lifestyle topics that I only share with my followers. Head over to lifethoughtscamera.com and sign up for the newsletter. It's free. Bye!